Did anybody but, block you from seeing Pop? From talking to him? Uh, let me see. I, um, talking where you talking now? I know they want you. Yeah, to yeah. I didn't. Stuff. I didn't get a chance to to you know talk to him. You know, all that other stuff had had happened, but it. You know what? We didn't get a chance to link up. After he got out, we, actually, I seen him one time when he got out. We was in the House of Blues, and he hugged me like warm. We was hugging for a little bit, and then he he hit me a few days after that, and uh, he he was telling me like, "Let's get in the studio. I'm gonna book some time." But a but a certain situation had happened uh, right before that to where I was like, you know what? I'm not getting ready to be. I'm not gonna go out and uh, uh, you know. I ain't just getting ready to step out there because I was at the studio before. He didn't even know about what happened, pretty much. But I went to the, the studio. Snoop was there, Daz Corp, everybody there. So some, you know, Suge homies came. I was like, Warren, can I holler at you? So I was like, um, like, all right, I'll be in there. So I'm, you know, I'm still chilling. So they come out again, like, Warren, can uh, Suge want to holler at you? So I'm like, Shit, all right, I'm coming. <clears throat> came again, Shug came in like, Warren, let me holler at you, man. Come, come out. And I was like, shit. I said to myself, let me see what the fuck this nigga want. So I got up and then I came and I went um, into the room they call the red room. Wow. And when I came in the room, another cat, I, don't, I ain't going to say his name, he came out of a door and he, he came to me and was like, Blood, you told these bitches you was gonna kill me. Like saying, I'm like, I knew it was bullshit when the motherfucker said something about some bitches saying that yeah. I was trying to get at you. So I knew it was, it, I didn't know why they was tripping, but they was tripping. So, so I'm like, nah, you know I ain't getting ready to get out. I don't get down like that. So they talking, whatever. So him and Shug start talking. So he came back like, Blood, you, you tried to, man, snatch my chain. So I'm like, God damn. I had a Glock on me too. Oh my God. And I ain't gonna lie, I, I, I wanted to pull that motherfucker out and just start busting, but I had to think because it was a bunch of dudes right here outside of the door, a bunch of police mm -hmm. that was working at the same time uh, around that time. And uh, so I would I was in a fucked up situation, so I had to think. So one of my other, one of my homeboys, which is C Style, he came through the door and he was like, What's going on? Why y'all tripping with one? So and uh, while he was talking to them, like, well, uh -huh. it was a door right here. So I opened the door. I walked through the door <clears throat> in the kitchen, and I seen two cats I knew that was sitting right there. So I walked past. I looked at them like, nigga, these niggas tripping. So I get to the hallway. As soon as I got to the hallway, I'm walking fast. The motherfucker, right before I got to the door, that nigga what? came running. Get that nigga blood. Nah. And, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I swear to God. So I took off, boom. I, but I got out. I got out. I got to my car. I had a, a, a big ass truck on big knobbies back then. So I got in my car and I backed up and I said, "Nigga, fuck y'all!" Boom. <laughs> and I pulled off that motherfucker. Oh, and I, I told my uncle, uh, Ron G. I, t I told Ron what happened. So Ron called in there and he told he told them, "If my nephew shit don't come out that motherfucker in fifteen minutes, I'm gonna blow that motherfucker up." Wow. And he's a Navy SEAL, so he was serious. So Snoop had called him, like, called him, called me, like, Warren, come get your chain. I'm like, hell no, nah, keep it, hold it for me. And then I, I took off, and um, the crazy thing about that was was just, um, I didn't know that Dre had left. So, oh my God! Blindside. Yeah. So this was the this was the that's whole this was the whole that whole you know. So it's like, oh, that's that oh, nigga brother. Shit. So I'm like, damn, I thought about it. I was like, these niggas probably would have killed me if they had the chance to. Wow. You know? <clears throat> and uh it was it was it was fucked up. And like a lot of people was claiming, like, oh, I got Warren Chain back. Didn't none of these motherfuckers get my chain back? C style. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, he was the one who caused the diversion for me to get up out of there. And when I got out of there, I got to my car, I was like, Shh. They ain't gonna never get me in another uh, position where they can get at me like that. So that's when, you know, Tupac had called me like, Warren, I'm, I'm got the studio, da 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 da. Can come to the studio, and I was like, Fuck he said, no. come to Can Am, and that's where it happened. That, and I oh, said, no. Man. I said, I ain't coming up there. Pac. He's like, he said, why you, why you ain't come? Why you, you what's what, what's wrong? He said, I said, man, I'm not coming up there, Pac. I said, I'll book the studio time, and then you come to the studio with me. 
Mm. So then I know that I got my people around just yeah. in case, so can't nothing go down, you know. But it 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 was uh, you know. But we never got a chance to link up, and so I could really talk to him, or or, or you know, when he got out, you know. But I did, and you can ask people can ask Richie Rich this, the real Richie Rich from Oakland. Uh, I was I was gonna try to bail him out. I was they, I got beat to the punch. I was gonna put up the money, and I didn't wow. want nothing. Been a I swear to God, you can ask Richie Rich. That's crazy. I was going to put up the money. I didn't give a fuck. It was like, I don't want nothing back. Just if I out. get this money to him yeah. to get him out of there, I don't want nothing. I don't want him signing no paperwork. You ain't got to do nothing, nigga. Mm. If I ever need you on a song or something, then get with me. Mm. But it was it was serious. I ain't never told nobody none of this shit, man. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but you should. That's, they need to hear that. Yeah. Imagine something like that, them lost in history.